హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ ఐఎమ్ ఏ వెంకట లక్ష్మణ్ రావు అసిస్టెంట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ హెచ్ఎండెస్ ఇన్ టుడేస్ క్లాస్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ యూ అబౌట్ బ్లాచ్ తీరం ఇన్ అప్లైడ్ ఫిజిక్స్ సబ్జెక్ట్ సో ఇన్ టుడేస్ క్లాస్ ది ఓవర్ యూ ఆఫ్ దిస్ టాపిక్ ఈజ్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ యూ అబౌట్ వాట్ ఈజ్ బ్లాచ్ తీరం అండ్ వేరియేషన్ ఆఫ్ ది పొటెన్షియల్ ఎనర్జీ విత్ రెస్పెక్ట్ టు ఇట్స్ పొజిషన్ అండ్ ది ఫైనల్ కంక్లూజన్స్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ టాపిక్ దీస్ త్రీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ కాన్సెప్ట్స్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు explain okay let me start with what is bloch theorem okay bloch is nothing but a scientist name actually a scientist called bloch he has proposed about when electron is moving in a periodic field then how the potential energy is varying whatever the proposal that he has made that proposal we are calling it as bloch theorem we are calling mainly here he has explained how the potential energy of an electron is varying with respect to its position when electron is moving in a periodic field these two are very important topics that i am going to explain under the bloch theorem okay now here is see how he has explained the bloch theorem first we will see here is see i am taking to explain about this bloch theorem a periodic field i am assuming here periodic field means it is nothing but a conductor or metal if you take in general they will have the periodic field how we can say that means if you take a metal or conductor they are crystalline solids metals or conductors are crystalline solids we know that what is a crystal a crystal is nothing but a material in which atoms or ions are arranged in a systematic manner if you take a metal or crystal metal or a conductor which is having the similar property it is nothing but ions or atoms are arranged in a systematic manner here in this case here if you take this diagram if you take this diagram here you see all positive ions in a metal are arranged in a systematic manner okay and these are represented with here the circles here you see a circle with positive symbol represents positive ions when atom loses electron then it is assumed to be positively charged so we know that in metals due to the low ionization energy simply they will lose the electrons negatively charged electrons they will become as the positively charged ions atoms are becoming as ions here all positive ions i am representing with a circle with a positive symbol as like that these are all nothing but the ions okay next whatever the small dots whatever the small dots are there they are nothing but the electrons in a metal let us assume that let us assume that here one electron is there which is at one corner of the metal as like that then here you see we know that in a metal uh ions are arranged in a systematic manner that's why it is called as a, a crystalline solid that we know and here all because of they are arranged in a systematic manner a uniform charge distribution can be expected uniform charge distribution means whatever the charge is here distributed by these positive ions same can be expected in some other region of the same metal it is nothing but charge distribution is uniform in entire metal so that we can observe by seeing that uh, crystalline metal okay and uh, here one more important thing is since metals are crystalline solids uh, here the interatomic distance what is interatomic distance actually it is the distance between two positive ions whatever the distance for example you take in this metal two positive ions are there whatever the distance is there let me represent that as a now the adjacent two more if you take the positive ions which will also have maintained the same distance which is called as in crystalline terminology called as a lattice constant in metals we can assume that this interatomic distance are also called as the lattice constant is always a constant here the bloch was assumed that there is one 
metal in which ions are arranged in a systematic manner and the lattice constant which is nothing but the interatomic distance is also constant throughout that material as like that. Now, let us assume that here there is one electron, this, this small dot whatever is there is nothing but electron which is at one corner of the that metal as like that you assume. Now, here you see free electron, I am assuming that it is inside that metal and let us assume that I am applying some electric field on that metal some electric field I am applying in this direction. For example, you take in this direction, I am applying the electric field. Then what will happen? This electron, small dot, whatever is there, na? this electron will experience force due to applied electric field and it starts moving from one end to the other end as like this. One end to another end in opposite direction of the applied electric field, that electron will move. Now, your very important thing is when electron is moving as like this, one end to another end by applying of external electric field, how the potential energy is varying. This concept was explained by Bloch and that theory we are calling as Bloch theorem we are calling. According to this scientist, according to this scientist, when electron is moving from one end to another end under the influence of applied electric field, the potential energy is varying in the with respect to its position. Let us see how it could happen as like this. Okay, So, let me take the next slide in which I am going to explain about the actual Bloch theorem. Okay, Now, same here I am assuming that there is one metal is there which is a crystalline solid and electron is at one corner of this metal and by applying electric field in this direction, let us assume that here electron is moving in opposite direction. Okay, Now, when electron is moving from one corner to another corner, one corner to another corner, in general we think that, we think that electron is negatively charged when electron is negatively charged and positive ion is obviously it is positively charged. Due to this reason, throughout its path, the potential energy, we are expecting that it is always zero only, but it is not correct. This scientist was clearly explained how that potential energy is going to be vary with respect to the position of this electron. In general, we feel that potential energy in general will be zero throughout its path, but it is not correct actually. So, according to this scientist, according to this scientist, when electron is at one corner, and when it is very nearer to and when it is very nearer to the positive ion side, then according to this scientist, the potential energy is going to become as zero. It is nothing but the center of gravity of the negative and the center of gravity of positive charges when they were coincide, then according to this blotch, the potential energy is going to become as zero. That I have explained here, you see. I am taking on x axis. I am taking on x axis the position of the electron. Position of the electron is nothing but x I am taking. And on y axis, the variation of potential energy V. V is nothing but potential difference. It is nothing but potential energy that I am taking on y axis as like this. Now, here on x axis, I am taking here thick circles. Each thick circle represent here a positive ion positive ion in that metal. Now, these are all arranged in a systematic manner. They are all arranged in a systematic manner as like it is nothing but the distance between two adjacent positive ions whatever is there, the next immediate two positive ion distance is also same since metal is a crystalline solid. Now, when electron is exactly at the positive ion side, negatively charged electron is at positive ion side. It is nothing but we can expect here, it is nothing but we can expect here as electron is at a positive ion side. Then what is going to be happen? You know, potential energy is 0. V equal to 0. V equal to 0, you see here in this graph, that is V value is 0 we have taken. Now, when electron is slowly moving towards another positive ion side, electron is moving towards another positive ion side. Then what is happening? You know, when electron is moving 
towards another positive ion side slowly you see in graph i have represented that as a slowly the incremental of the potential energy can be expected as a like this and when electron is still further moving towards another positive ion side in the middle of the positive to positive ion side the potential energy is maximum potential energy is maximum when electron reaches exactly in the middle of two positive ion sides and when electron is and when electron is moving to the another positive ion side slowly then again the potential energy is decreasing again as like this and attaining zero when the electron is reached exactly at the another positive ion side here when electron is at positive ion side potential energy is zero when electron is moving towards another positive ion side potential energy is slowly it is increasing and attaining maximum value when it reaches the middle point of two positive ion sides when still further this electron is moving towards another positive ion side slowly this potential energy will decreases and again it will attain as a zero so in this form the potential energy is going to be very when electron is moving in a potential uh, moving in a periodic field like this the scientist was explained about the variation of potential energy with respect to the position of that electron now you see the first graph of profile we have got as like this first graph profile we have got as like this how we got the second one means since this metal whatever we have taken metal whatever we have taken is in a periodic field it is nothing but ions are arranged in a systematic manner the same format the same form is going to be repeated between another two positive ion side that's why we are getting the repetition of the same form of the potential energy with respect to its position so again and again the same potential energy variation can be seen in this periodic field when electron is moving so this concept is called as a bloch theorem how the potential energy is going to be vary with respect to its position when electron is moving in a periodic field okay now after uh, assuming as like this by this bloch he was he was applied the schrodinger time independent wave equation to this moving particle we know that according to schrodinger time independent wave equation when a moving particle is there then it is associated with its energies that's why he was taken schrodinger equation as like this when particle is having some position as x then we can write it as v of x particle is occupying one certain position so v of x position with respect to position potential energy is varying that's why he was written here as e minus v instead of v v of x he was he was written as like this now according to the periodicity of the the periodicity of the metal here the potential energy is varying here the periodicity it is nothing but again and again what is that repeating is nothing but the interatomic distance which is nothing but lattice constant so the variation of potential energy he was taken here as with respect to the lattice constant a as v of x plus a and he was substituted these values in the main equation that is the schrodinger time independent wave equation when electron is when electron is at a positive ion site this is going to become as a zero v not is nothing but e minus 0 as like that taken as the equation number 1 and when electron is exactly at the middle of two positive ion sides here potential energy is a maximum that's why another equation he was taken as e minus v max v not is nothing but zero potential energy and v max is nothing but maximum potential energy of electron when it is exactly at the center of two positive ion sides by taking as two equations as like this and assuming in different different ways 
finally this scientist was derived an equation which is called as your wave function moving particle wave function here as psi of x is equal to uk into e to the power e is nothing but exponential of plus or minus ikx this term is nothing but the complex quantity and uk of x was termed it is here as he block function as he was a term the final expression that he was derived here is wave function of a moving particle in a periodic field is a complex quantity as e to the power plus or minus ikx and this concept is called as bloch function we are calling overall here the scientist was explained about potential energy how it is varying when electron is moving in a periodic field okay now what are all the conclusions of this bloch theorem what we have understood the first point can be said as potential energy or the v is not zero throughout the path in general we feel that negatively charged positive charge both get cancel and the potential energy will become always zero throughout its path but it is not correct according to this theory we can say that potential energy is not becoming zero throughout the path only at certain position only potential energy is becoming as a zero that is the first point that we need to remember next very important thing is when the potential energy is going to become as the maximum potential energy is maximum according to this bloch theorem is when the electron is occupied a position where exactly in the middle of two successive positive ions we can expect that potential energy is maximum according to the bloch theorem okay and potential energy is also becoming zero but now throughout the path it is not zero it is nothing but potential energy is zero when the negatively charged electron is very closer to the positive ion side we can say that the third point third important concept as then potential energy is becoming as zero so overall overall we can say that potential energy of the moving particle here it is varying with respect to its position as x as like this okay and this concept is called as a bloch theorem we are calling okay thank you